What happens when you fall ill for a couple of weeks? Or it rains too little and your garden is ruined? Likely if you are watching this, these are inconveniences. But when you are one of the three quarters of a billion people living on less than $2 a day, it can be disastrous. Do you sell your only asset, a goat, that your family was using to make a living? Or do you pull your daughter out of school to work? Many of us want to help, but how do we know which programs actually work? Many industries spend a lot on R&D, but in the international development world, it is less than 1%. Innovation for Poverty Action is the R&D engine of the development sector. With high quality research using the same method used in medical trials, IPA figures out what actually works and what doesn't, so individuals, governments and charities can leverage limited resources. Investing in IPA's R&D model has a multiplier effect, bringing effective solutions to scale to make a real difference for millions. Let's look at an example. In 2018, nearly half a million people died from malaria, mostly in Africa. One of the best ways to prevent malaria is by sleeping under a net that keeps mosquitoes out and has been treated with insecticide. For years, many public health organizations charged a small price for bed nets because they believed free ones wouldn't be valued. Working with IPA in Kenya, researchers found that just raising the price from zero to 60 cents led to a massive drop in the number of people who got them. And people valued and used them just as much when they were free. Once evidence made this clear, UK foreign aid efforts and other large institutions stopped charging for bed nets. The WHO cites the expansion in bed nets coverage as a major factor in reducing malaria deaths. The impact of this research is conservatively estimated to have saved at least tens of thousands of lives with $8 billion in benefits. This is the leverage that comes from IPA's work. IPA has a global footprint and uses a Nobel Prize winning approach to fighting poverty with over 800 evaluations across 52 countries, improving programs that impact hundreds of millions of lives. But more needs to be done. COVID-19 could add up to 100 million more into extreme poverty, while the economic shock has slashed aid budgets worldwide. Governments around the world need data and evidence to save lives and livelihoods, and they are asking us for support. Investing in IPA is high impact, high leverage, and ripples out to help create a better world. Join us. Learn more at poverty-action.org.